Well, I'm originally from Mississippi. I grew up in Jackson, Mississippi. I uh, went to Heinz Community College, uh, transferred to Mississippi State University, and then finished up a PhD ultimately at the University of Mississippi. Worked in uh, the community college system, both at Heinz Community College and Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College for 18 and a half years before I left and went to Kentucky and been in Kentucky for three and a half years at Hopkinsville Community College and so excited to ultimately come home to my home state and to a wonderful community college. It's a tremendous honor. Um, it's very humbling um, to um, serve such a great institution and to be, have an opportunity to work with tremendous faculty and staff. Uh, I can't wait for the students to get on campus this fall and be able to interact with them. So excited to be back in an environment with um, with sports, with um, performing groups, uh, just our, our number, sheer number of student groups on campus. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful time on campus, a great atmosphere. Truly an honor to serve an institution that has had tremendous leadership through the years. And um, I know that uh, that doesn't happen by accident to get such an honor as, as one of the top institutions in, this, in the country. Um, I know that it takes great leadership at all levels of the college, and I just hope that I'll have the opportunity to facilitate that, to be able to grow young leaders and to continue the leadership that our, our seasoned professionals have been providing and to just take us on to the next level. It is a changing time for community colleges across the country, for higher ed in general in many ways. Workforce development is a huge part of what we do and I look forward to being involved with our economic leaders, economic development leaders in our community and really getting a chance to um, continue what we've been doing as an institution and look for those new opportunities. That's one of the things that I've, I've had some success with and some luck with is finding that next niche that we can, can reach into and help our, um, our economic partners, our, our manufacturers, our business and industry and help them achieve their goals. It's always um, challenging to make our state dollars stretch as far as they need to go and, and unfortunately at times we, we just don't have enough. And so um, you know, I'll continue to work with the leadership of the college to find ways to make us efficient and effective at what we're doing, but also to uh, convey to our legislative partners um, what we're doing as an institution and the tremendous role and impact we make in our local community, in our state as a whole, and ultimately the country. And um, I believe that we really change people's lives through education. And, um, and I think the path to prosperity starts right at community colleges just like this one. And so we hope that we'll have an opportunity to uh, bring that message to our legislatures. I look forward to working with them at home, but also at the Capitol. And um, hopefully we'll be able to uh, help state revenue ultimately so that we can see more revenue coming our way as well as a community college. Because we've got great things to do, and I look forward to the opportunity to work with them to do that. It's exciting because of the legacy they're really leaving behind and it's great to be able to build on that. And so I just look for that really as some of my own inspiration but also the faculty and staff and I hope that I will be able to foster that next level of excitement, that next idea that we can champion and get behind and really find new ways to move our institution forward and to see our students succeed in the classroom, out of the classroom, on the athletic fields and courts, and really everywhere that we have an opportunity to touch them, but also as they move on to their universities or to the workplace. We want them to shine and for people to know that um, if, they, if they send us a student, we're going to give them back an individual that's going to make a true impact in our community.